Are you ready to get into the nerd pop quiz about horror movies? I am. Let's let's see how good or bad I do. I'm ready <laughs> now. I love them. Yeah. Okay. Let me get this going. Slideshow. Okay. Oh. So same as always, we have two points if you can get the correct answer without needing the multiple choice. Uh, if you do need the multiple choice, it'll be one point. So, first question. In the movie The Ring, how long do people have to live after watching the videotape? Well, uh... Mm, uh it was... I feel like it was... I feel like it was like it was a decent amount of time. I think if I remember correctly, I think it's a week, seven days. Is that your I'm final answer? Final answer. Okay. Yes. The answer is seven days. Yes, you will die in seven okay. days. Yeah, you will die in seven days. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. Good job. So that is two points. Started it off kind of easy, but you did have to like go back. I'm sure you haven't watched that in a well, while. I haven't, but that quote, yeah. I'll yeah. Talk about that. It's a good movie. <laughs> I, I actually watched it fairly mm -hmm. recent, like a year or two ago for the first time, and it, it holds up. It's a oh, good really? movie still, yeah. It is good. I, I don't think I've ever seen the second one. I don't think I saw the second one either. Okay, second question. What is the name of the summer camp where Friday the 13th takes place? Ooh, uh, that... Oh, man. It is... Uh... Oh, uh, Crystal, Crystal, uh, Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, yeah, Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, no, nice, it is Camp Crystal Lake. Yep, yep, yep. I had just watched binge watch like all of those movies um, oh, nice. not last year but the year before like in october like you know during halloween month yeah for for, for halloween uh, they're entertaining though they get a little campy but like they're fun i don't know if i've ever seen one i don't think i've ever seen a friday the 13th and you're probably no. going to hear me say that a lot because no. i wasn't allowed to watch these as kids <laughs> so i have to like go back and <laughs> re-watch or watch them as an adult so you want to watch the Friday the Thirteenth because they're all, it, it, like I said, they get cheesy. Yeah, but like, it, like you know, the first one didn't even have like Jason in it. Really? Okay, that's not one of your questions. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it looked like... that's yeah the first one didn't even have Jason in it. It's like a well, you've never seen Scream either, so no. I have seen Scream. I have watched all the Scream. Oh, yeah, I think I've watched all of them. Yeah, because in the Scream, one of the questions for for the for uh, for a ghost face was uh, who dies? Or no, what do you say? Who's the man behind the mask? And the first right. Oh, oh yes, yeah, yes, that's right. I remember that now. And they're like, uh, Jason Valtier, like, oh, no, wrong. <laughs> okay, moving on to another one I haven't seen, but I've heard is good. In which state does the Blair Witch Project take place? Uh, that would be in, uh, it's not, somewhere with the forest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> True. I believe it's, it's either, it's like Virginia or Maryland or Virginia or Maryland. One of those two are stuck in my head. I'm going to go with Maryland. Final answer. Maryland. Oh, that's right. Where I was born is correct. Oh, nice. Oh, the <laughs> yep. <laughs> we were thinking oh, on man. the same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which actor appears in all of these horror movies? The Purge, Sinister, and The Black Phone. Which I don't know uh, what the... It is Ethan Hawke, yep. Very nice. This is a good one. That's really all good ones. Today. I know, I was kind of I was kind of hoping you'd do the multiple choice because I get these two mixed up sometimes like 
Yeah, with both of us, they were. What was that? Oh, yeah. We're both in like so many horror movies. Yeah, so. true. I know. That's why I put them in there. Yep. Okay, in Halloween, Michael Myers as a child kills his teenage sister. What was her name? Judith Myers. Ooh. Dang, you you got these. You got this knowledge on. <laughs> Unlock. Very nice. I, I, binge, I binge watch all the Halloween movies too, and the remakes <laughs> of all of them. <laughs> nice. Speaking of Halloween remakes, who directed the 2007 remake of Halloween? Uh, Rob Zombie. Final answer. I had a feeling you would know that one <laughs> after saying that. <laughs> uh, nice. We said the remake of Halloween. Yep. <laughs> Alice Cooper, Hansi <laughs> Osler. Yeah. Yeah, I just threw in some other old rockers, you know. <laughs> I could see Alice Cooper trying to direct a horror movie. Same with Ozzy, so yeah. I was going to say, those are actually good little multiple <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, in the Purge movies, how long does the annual Purge last? Ooh. It's... It's... It's what's it? An hour? No, no. All legalized crime for twelve hours. Yeah, it's like like nine or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna say twelve hours. Final okay. answer. It is twelve hours. Man, yeah. between last week and this week, you're killing these. <laughs> I've, I've watched all the purges too. <laughs> <laughs> And this next one, I'm pretty sure ones. you're going to know because you've said his name already. What is the name of the killer in the Scream franchise? Oh, <laughs> Ghostface. And his ghost face. Oh. Very nice. Another phase. Can't, can't have. <laughs> yeah, and then I just put Scream. I'm sure some people think his name is Scream. Yeah, because that's like what the movie's called, right? Yeah, uh huh. Same thing with like Zelda, right? Oh, right. Really? Yep. What is the name of Jodie Foster's character in The Silence of the Lambs? Ooh, uh... And if you can just get the first name or the last name, I'll give it to you. This one I haven't seen in a while now. Starts with a C. I know that. It's like... <clears throat> um... What is it, like, Casey or... I think I'm going to need multiple choice. I know I'm going to get it right when I see it. Yeah, I have a feeling you will. Is it Lori Strout Strode, Clarice Starling, Sidney Prescott, or Nancy Thompson? Yeah, it's Clarice. It is Clarice, yep. Oh, man. Very nice. He says her name like a bunch of times, so <laughs> yeah, I can see. Um, Once you see it. Sidney's yeah. from right? And then Lori's from Halloween? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I pulled these all from different. Um, Nancy Thompson. Who's Nancy Thompson? Yeah, Lori's from Halloween. Nancy mm -hmm. Thompson is from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so you got one on that one. So you're at 17 right now. Okay, I'm not sure if you've seen this next movie, so this will be interesting. I, I actually, this was one of the few movies I actually was allowed to see as a kid, which I don't know why my mom thought this one was okay and the other ones weren't, but. <laughs> Carol Ann interacts with spirits through which household electronic in Poltergeist? You, you know, I have not seen this one. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty but good I'm one. Yes, I'm going to guess. Electronic, household electronic. It's pretty iconic. If you've, yeah, if you've seen anything about this movie, TV? you probably know. It is. It is the, the, the TV, yep. I just, I think I just know because it's on like a cover. Yeah, is it like, is. Jason two, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, well, how did you think this was okay? I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think there was one other one. Um, the oh, what was that movie? It'll come to me later, but um, this is funny. Yeah, it, it's. I don't know. 
I don't know. It freaked me out though as a kid. <laughs> Good movie though. Good movie. What is the name of the virus that infects humanity in 28 days later? Mm. It makes some like 28 days. So it makes them like mad, like they're angry, angry, um, angry virus. If it's on the right, mad virus. No, looks like another. What's a synonym? Uh, it's so oh, uh, rage, rage, right? Rage virus. Final answer. It is the rage virus. Ah, uh, very nice. Yeah, you were dancing uh, around it there. <laughs> I know. I was like, wait, like, that seems not like angry virus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good movie too. Yeah, I have seen that one too. That, that is a good one. What is the name of the demon who possesses Reagan in The Exorcist? Mm. You know what? I believe it or not, I have never seen The Exorcist. Really? I've so actually I'm, seen that. I have not, so I will need multiple choice. Okay. Is it Zool, Asmodeus, Pazuzu, or Asaku? Oh man, I have no. T I'm gonna go B. You're going with Asmodeus. Yes, it is Pazuzu. Um, Pazuzu from like Ghostbusters. It is. Yeah, it sounded similar yeah. to Pazuzu, so I, I threw that one in there. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Good eye yeah. on that yeah, one. Yeah, I've never seen it. It's good. Out of all of them, never. I like that one. It's pretty, did you see that one when you were younger too? No, that one I saw more recently. Oh, okay. Okay. What book causes the dead to rise in the Evil Dead? What book causes all oh, the book? Okay, sorry. Yeah, what's the, the name of the book? Is, um, it's called the oh, shoot. Uh, I. I cannot. That's Mortis. That's that's Mordia. I'm gonna guess that if that's not right, I'll do multiple choice. It's not. I'm looking it up just to make sure, okay. but I don't. Uh, I might give that. Well, there's the first there that does have. Oh, okay, you said X Mortis. Yes. That is part of its name. I'll give it to you. I have it as Necronomicon, but it's technically the full name is Necronomicon oh, cool. X Mortis. So I'll give that to you. Yep. Cool. Okay. Very nice. So I didn't remember the Necronomicon. I just remember, obviously, the X Mortis. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. I think I saw okay. that searching, looking this up because I haven't seen Evil Dead. But um, yeah, so I double checked and yeah. it is very it's, nice. It's a shame you haven't seen Evil Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I need to go back and watch. Which sci-fi horror film had the tagline, In space, no one can hear you scream? Isn't that, uh, isn't that Alien? Final answer? It is Alien, yep. Okay. Very nice. Okay, last That's one. That's a cool tagline, though. Yeah, it is. It's a great tagline. What is the highest grossing horror movie? Of all time. Oh, oh, that's, that's I can think of a few, but I don't know which one it is. <laughs> um, so like, I'm and this is worldwide. I, I pulled it from worldwide. Oh. Okay, because I'm thinking like, and this is like a single movie, not not like a, a series, like a, a movie. Correct, singular movie. Okay, I know. I mean, if you like, off the top of my head, I'm thinking like a lower budget, like Blair Witch or Paranormal Activity. But you're saying worldwide, that might just be domestic. 
Wow. Yep, going worldwide. I know, I know the other super popular one I was thinking of was, uh, and the reason I think of this is because I remember this, like when this came out wild and terrorist. It was uh, the uh, It. I don't remember if it was. I feel like It Chapter 2, because the first one made blank, and I feel like the second one made even more off the hype. But I just remember it was like at the time I read the highest. I don't know if it's the highest horror movie of all time or the rated R horror movie of all time. That's what I'm like. Because mm. I know it's rated R. I know I saw like headlines when I, like after, because you know I'm a nerd. I look up all that stuff. <laughs> and I know I saw headlines. Like, highest rated or highest made horror movie of all time. I don't know if it was rated R. It's the rated R ones. I'm going to say It Chapter 2. I could be wrong because it could be just that for rated R movies, but I'm going to put that in my final answer. It's not It Chapter 2. Let me look up oh. how much that made. To I know that made So that made 473 mm -hmm. million US. Or what about It Chapter 1? Am I thinking of Chapter 1? I think well, you I even know you said I, I might, chapter one made more? I might give it to you because it is It Chapter 1. And in the US, oh. it made 701 million. Um, worldwide, it made. Let me go in, or I guess, yeah, it made seven hundred one million. That was that was worldwide. So yep, the second one is the Sixth Sense, then I Am Legend, and then World War Z, and then at five is It Chapter Two. Sixth Sense, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, that made six hundred seventy million. Yeah, half. Yeah, I was never seeing that. Though. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh. Let's see, I'm going to give you two wow. on that. You you knew it was it. And you would think the yes. sequel would make more money, but apparently yeah. it didn't. That's why that's what I was thinking, like, oh, off the pipe and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I just remember that movie was like, God, when that came out, I've never seen a horror movie so packed. So what? Oh, packed. Yeah, yeah. I, did we yeah, see that packed, together? Like, yeah. I forget. I know I saw I, it. I, I saw, I, I, we might have seen that together. I know I saw it with Kara too, but maybe all three of us went too. Yeah. Because, like, what year did that come out? Uh, 2017. Uh, 12. Were we still living with each other at that time? I don't remember. No, we weren't. But I'm pretty sure I saw that hmm. in theaters, and I don't think I would have just gone by myself, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good movie. It was good. Mm hmm. You saw the second one too? I didn't. I never did see the second one. Really? Oh. Yeah, I should. I like the first one. Well, you got 27 out of 30 on that one. Very nicely done.